Well, after winning their inaugural premiership five years ago, it's been a frustrating time for the West Tigers and their fans. But there's a real sense of optimism about the NRL club this season. And as Tim Wharton reports, a couple of Tigers have extra reason to have a big year as they look to profit on and off the field. They are rugby league's version of the odd couple. West Tigers teammates Liam Fulton and Bryce Gibbs aren't just partners on the field, they're also budding entrepreneurs, a pair joint owners of a business called Sporty Stuff. It's everything about personalisation and we, are, we try and personalise everything for, you know, with banners or you know, envelopes or that kind of stuff. It's you know, for small businesses and that, so it's just something we're, we're getting into you know, off the field. While most professional footballers have their hands full with training and playing, the Tigers duo are now looking to the future and they're doing something about it. But we try and you know, do something off the field as well, you know, just keep our minds occupied, you know, just not football 100% you know, of the time. So you know, we, uh, we're going to have a life outside of football and uh, trying to make a bit of money on the sides are uh, you know, something that we're trying to achieve. The pair have come a long way in a relatively short period of time, originally starting out with vending machines thanks to an idea generated by Bryce. Gives his head, he goes, let's take out 30 grand each, uh, get a loan. And I said, I was like, oh, all right, and what do you want to do? And he goes, let's buy some vending machines. So we bought eight vending machines. I think it cost us around about 35 grand. And so we had a little bit of money left over and they sat in Gibbsy's garage for around about three or four months and we were very scared. We didn't know, you know what we were going to do with them. And all of a sudden we, we got a breakthrough. Um, we started getting a couple of places and just grew and we got about 10 vending machines in and then you know, we've still got a couple of you know, good places like West Ashfield and West Campbelltown, which you know really been helping us out. So why why vending machines? Oh yeah, no, just something uh, different. Yeah, no, we're not really sure. Yeah, just come up with the idea, I guess. While the business is growing and thriving, for Liam Fulton, a stint playing overseas set back his plans. But the Tiger is now back, and it seems he has a new attitude. After signing up with the Tigers in 2003 and winning a premiership two years later. Fulton headed to England, but it wasn't by choice. The forward, a victim of the NRL salary cap pressures. Obviously, it was very tough, you know, playing in the best comp in the world at the NRL. Um, you know, is you know, probably what you want to do. Going to the Super League, you know, I had made some great friends there and had a good time, and I reckon my footy's probably improved. Um, but, you know, I, um, I'm happy to be back, and I'm, you know, I'm sure I did, I did a favour by the Tigers by um, helping him out with the salary. Sorry, Cap, but I never knew I was going to go back there. But you know, I'm just glad to be back, and you know, even with this, happy to be with this guy again, so, yeah, and all the other boys. So. Now, that even though you've been together since year seven, did you miss him when he went over to England? Yeah, it was a bit, a bit weird because we saw each other every day, and uh, we done we worked every day together as well. So I, I took over for a little bit. Then uh, Liam's dad come and helped me out a bit as well. So yeah, probably missed him for the first couple of months, and after that, I got over it. <laughs> Having known each other for more than a decade, there are plenty of jokes about Gibbs and Fulton's friendship, and Liam in particular has gained quite a reputation when it comes to being a larrikin. Every now and again, you know, Gibbs might make me bring someone up or do this or do that, but I'm trying to, trying to dim it down a bit. Shanzi wants me to dim it down, so I'm trying my best. It's a bit hard. I'm shaking a bit. Like, you know, I want to make a couple of phone calls here and there. I do, but I just try and keep it a bit quiet at this time. And has he ever got you? No, he hasn't got me. Uh, well, he's... I get him all the time. <laughs> he's the easiest, uh, he's the easiest get ever. Who have we got, who have we got lately? Oh, who haven't we got? While the jokes are sure to continue, Fulton and Gibbs are serious when it comes to talk about the Tigers and the club's prospects this year. I haven't really felt this way since 2005. We've got a really young squad. You know, it's a, a nice mix of senior players and. I think that this, this you know, could be a good season for us. You know, our goal is to pretty much probably be in the top four, top eight. Um, you know, and I think that's an achievable target for us because we've got a great coaching staff and, you know, as I said, we've got some good young players coming through. If all goes according to plan, it should be a big year for Fulton, Gibbs and the Tigers. And if the pair have their way, we should look out for their names in the BRW Rich list. We were aiming for top three. Isn't it? Is it in the, in the list? The stuff can take us all the way to the top. What's the plan? <laughs> So uh, you're pretty confident about where you're headed? Well, if we're, if we're not millionaires by the time we're probably about 35, <laughs> probably just have to neck myself. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Tim Wharton, Fox Sports News.